Yo, what is up guys? Today we're talking about Destiny 2 now specifically. We're going to be looking at the Hunter Dungeon Armor. The new one that was supposed to be the Eververse Armor. And the Trials of the Nine Armor because I ended up getting that as well. And yeah, I'm going to do this in separate videos. Mostly because if I did it all in one take, it would be too long of a video to be quite honest. And it... I just want to do them in each class just because I have a lot of things to say about the new Moonfang armor set because I think the Titans want it and it kills me as a hunter main but dude the, the Titans have cool fucking armor so let's talk about the Titans in that video let's look at my hunter real quick so my hunter has the armor set already and as you guys can see the drip is real this shit is looking good and fucking nice i love this armor set it's one of my favorites hands down especially when i'm thinking about like possible armor sets that i can combine this with unfortunately the the seasonal video that i usually make for my classes do not incorporate any of the armor from this season it's mostly other armor sets which i will do that video uh in a bit hopefully but this is basically all of, all of the set. Let's look at the helmet real quick. So unfortunately, the only thing I can really talk about for the helmet, for the for all the classes, is that this right here does not change color for any of the classes. So the hunters have blue. The titans have uh, blue as well, I think. No, green. And then the warlocks have green as well. So for me, this, armor, this color doesn't really bother me all too much considering it goes well with what I'm wearing right now. But if I was going for like an all red theme, then this would not look good at all. I don't even have like shaders to show you, but yeah, as you guys can see, it does not change color at all, which is kind of unfortunate in my opinion. I would have loved it if they, this changed color as well, but whatever. I think the arms are probably one of the coolest things as well. It's different colors, which is kind of unfortunate in my opinion, because if we guys, if you go see, get some shaders real quick, because you know. I don't know why I don't have shaders. That one, that one, and a red one, I guess. And then white, white, because fuck it. So, if you guys see right now, I love it. It looks cool. It's symmetrical, but unfortunately, the colors are not the same. I think the, ch the colors do not. Yeah, see? It's like, it's unfortunate, but like at the same time, I'm not really too bothered by it. I don't know what it is. And honestly, I'm just happy that we got something symmetrical and it looks cool. It's going to look... A, I'm telling you, the arms are probably one of my favorite parts from this whole set. With the legs being a close second for like few, like certain armor pieces. I think the chest piece is okay. I don't know how I feel about it all too much to be quite honest. Uh, yeah, I think the chest piece is probably the weakest part of it. Especially since most one part does not change color, which is the white right here. Does not change color. If you guys have been following me for a while, you go, you you're already gonna know that anything, any armor that does not change color is immediate garbage to me. I hate it. So these uh this right here doesn't change color as well. So for me, just I hate it already. Uh, but that's okay because I'm I was never gonna wear it in the, to begin with. So whatever, no harms, no foul. The leg piece, I actually love. This is one of my favorite legs for the hunter. I think it's really cool. It just looks just looks cool. I love it a lot. The lack it's like it fits this perfect blend of like enough armor, but not too much armor. It's just literally the the legs and then this hip one right here or the thigh one, and then just armor right here because this is not even part of the legs. This is all chest piece. So for me, I think the possibilities for this armor is just so so much. And last but not least, we have the Moonfang uh, cloak, which is pretty cool. I really do like it. My only, my only thing is that I wish the hood came out a little more. So why do I say that? Well, because it does not fit other helmets well. So you guys can see right he, this one for sure. So you guys can see it's like right there, which is... Which is probably, most of you are thinking, that looks normal to me. Okay, yeah, cool, but like, look at this one real quick. Let me see. This one. See? It's like over it, and this one is just like right there. It kind of feels like I'm bald somehow. So, 
don't get me wrong. I love the cloak. It's f super cool, but I just wish the cloak either came out like this or more. Not obviously not that high, but like this and then down. That would have been a lot better in my opinion, but this cloak was clearly made to go well with this helmet, which is cool on one hand because it does make the whole armor look cool. But for someone who does not use all of an armor set, usually, I usually like to spread all of the armor like individually as I'll give you a quick look at what my hunter is looking like this season. This is my hunter this season. I'm still tweaking things here and there, but as you guys can see, all of the pieces are not using any other piece that I've ever used or I'm not like using other pieces. Like I said, it would be this most likely, honestly, and I like it a lot. The stats are really good aside from this one, which I don't know why. Oh, it's because I'm wearing. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. Me personally, this is going to be what I'm wearing, but that's not that type of video. So let's go on to the next armor set, which is the Trials of the Night armor, which not going to lie. If you guys haven't noticed it yet, this is basically armor from the Crucible from year one. A lot of the armor from Destiny to Vanilla basically just look like each other with small differences here and there. Like, oh, I don't even have any on me on... Yeah, I don't have any on me, but the legs right here, actually, you can just, so as you guys can see, the legs literally do not change aside from this armor plate. The chest piece does not change as well, aside from this leather strap right here. And the arms change, just giving us uh, this right here. So it, I'm not gonna lie, obviously you do, it, there are differences, but you guys can't unsee basically this so that's my that's the only issue and that's that's not a new issue i've always had that issue ever since i saw the armor obviously you get this uh this thing right here this pauldron pauldron whatever we get that and then plus uh this other than that it's basically the same thing the things that are very different are the cloak and the helmet so I think the cloak is really cool, but it's unfortunately stuck to one color, which is the blue. So that's something that will never not piss me off, especially since it's a lot of real estate. And I do like this cloak. It's just unfortunate that you can't change the blue. Would have really liked it if the blue changed the color. Some, something, just something would have been great. Helmet has the same issue, but it's not that bad in my opinion, mostly because it's pretty small. But it, you could still notice it if you're like me that I, I would never wear this helmet mostly because the blue would piss me off a lot. But if you guys want to see how it shaders, then here's the red. Again, blue, horrible, blue, horrible. But let's go on to maybe donning, which looks really cool until you see the blue here and then the blue there. The crimson shader, which looks cool until blue again and then blue again. So I really wish that Bungie took this opportunity to be able to shader this, the different color and the spots there as well. It's unfortunate. I'm probably never going to wear this armor aside from maybe the arms and chest piece. I don't know if I like the legs much, honestly. So, and obviously the gift of the nine, which is the shader I was, that has on it. Let me show you guys the, not that one the Moonfang and how it shaders because I think the shader how it shaders is really cool as well so this is the the red one which looks really cool unfortunately like I said the blue does not change color and Crimson Valor which again blue does not change color but it does shader really well and then last but not least Downing Brilliance which looks really cool but unfortunately blue does not change color but if you have something like this I don't think that would be a big issue considering there's other blue spots. So, yeah, I love this armor a lot. The Moonfang is probably one of the coolest armor sets we've had. And this would have been Eververse armor. Thank you, Bungie, for not doing that. Uh, it looks really cool. It was a lot of fun going to do Prophecy just to get this armor. The Dude, honestly, it was hype to get all this armor. 
So obviously the next video is probably going to be the Titan. The Titan obviously I think wins the, wins the all. The Titans look really fucking cool. So if you guys like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, things are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.